Hello, I'm Christy Johns with your Australian Online News. Melbourne residents have swarmed to shops and bars after months of lockdown as retail and hospitality reopened for business from midnight. Victoria recorded two new cases of coronavirus overnight. Residents in southeast Queensland are preparing for more wild weather today, with a severe storm warning for giant hail, heavy rain and flash flooding after storms caused chaos yesterday. Police are hunting a man who glassed another man with a bottle at a restaurant in Haymarket in Sydney. The victim needed 14 stitches in his head after the attack. The Transport Workers' Union says it's considering not cleaning or refuelling Qatar planes at Sydney Airport after the strip search of Australian women. More than 13 women may have been subjected to the disturbing examination. Economists have predicted Australia's recession is over, with the September quarter expected to show strong growth. With one week to go until the US election, Joe Biden hit Georgia while Donald Trump targeted the Midwest. Melania Trump made her first solo US election campaign speech with huge support. I do not always agree with the way he says things. And Spinmaster, the company behind Etch-a-Sketch and Paw Patrol brands, has agreed to buy Rubik's brand for $70 million. For more, visit australianonlinenews.com.au.